Well, hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Citadel, Forged with Fire. Uh, I've built myself a little house. I've leveled myself all the way up to level 20. She ain't pretty, but she's mine. <laughs> now, as for the various benches and such that you get, um, if you have the materials to build them, you simply go into your build menu, which is this one, and you get all kinds of stuff under here. For instance, under wood, you've got wooden flooring. If you click that, it will give you your different wooden floorings, including a trap floor. Interesting. Right-click to go back. This gives you all your wall types. This gives you... Now, there's an interesting way. You don't build a door and a doorway. You build a solid wall, and then you come to this one, and you click whether you want it to be a door, a small walkway, small window, double window, large door, etc. It's kind of interesting. Take some getting used to it first, because you'll try to place a doorway to get out and go, that's not working, why? <laughs> and that will be why. Um, so that's kind of wood. Now, magic gets kind of interesting. If you open this up, you've got small, medium, and large. Small gives you your throne, which you must have to claim a building. Okay. Now, I mean, in PvE, it's really more important because it gives you, see the green marker on my compass up top? Yeah, it tells me where my throne is. So I can always find my way home. Because as of yet, I haven't found a way to actually spawn myself here. It'll also give you a mana generator, which is kind of cool. I don't have the resources to build it at the moment. And a mana node, which kind of expands the rate of your generator. So if I put a generator in my house and I wanted to be able to, you know, have it start filling me back up with mana, well, you can see the area it will cover. So as long as it's both within range of wherever the generator is and me, we're good. Right? Anyway, uh, moving along. Medium stuff includes a respawn stone. So if you build this guy... and place them down, then you got a place to respawn. You also get chests under medium. And then under large, oops, sorry I went the wrong way. Under large, you get uh, things like a healing pool, which we saw in the one town, uh, mana pools, and all of your benches. And like I say, as long as you have the materials, and I mean this is just rune crystals and wood, you can pick these up by the thousands on your adventures. You know, same thing. Rune crystals and stone for the forge. More wood and rune crystals. It's all really, really easy stuff. Right down to your fire pit, which is that guy over there, where you can cook all your food. Alright. And then we've got decorative. And here's one that will throw you for a loop if you're looking for your torches. Yeah, they're under decorative. And under flags, oddly enough. So there you are. Now, what exactly do I need for this? I need rune crystal, stone, and precious stone, eh? Hey? Hmm. Precious stone. Where do I make that? In here? Okay, where... You know, oh, because I've got my build menu open. There we go. Alright, unstables. No, enchanted stones. Flawless rune gems. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how to make precious stone. No, the workbench. No. Not listed there. Hmm. Well, tis a mystery, indeed. I'm sure it will all come clear at some point. A cauldron? Yeah. Hmm. Oh well, at any rate, not one I can apparently build at the moment. What about the um, mana pool and other pool? Magic, big stuff. 
Flawless rune gems, enchanted stones, and dark essences. Okay. Well, light essences I might have almost enough. Enchanted stone. Alright. Enchanted stone I can make in the forge. And flawless rune gems I believe I found some of. But, not enough. So, anyways, this, is this, this as I say, is our wee house here. And I chose this area. Well, wow, I'm glad all this stuff grows back, because I just about knocked every tree in the place down to build this little house. <laughs> because it has a couple of advantages. One of which is this tower. The other of which is when you're near water... Huh. I guess at a distance. Interesting. Good way to do that. Um, you'll find not only salt blocks, but also stone that contains minerals like iron, gold, etc., etc. So I like to settle near water. Plus, I think there's something inherently inherent about human nature that makes us want to settle near water. Oh, the reason those uh, posts up there are kind of pokey looking is because... <laughs> all right. Time to fess up here, Mr. Master Builder. Yeah, don't don't look at the stuff that I build and go, well, the building kind of crude in this game. Um, no, it's my building that's kind of crude. Yeah, that's why. You'll, you'll notice how those are roofs? Yeah, those are floors? Don't ask. I, I thought I had roof picked. Apparently, no, I had floors picked. So, yeah, it allowed me to place the floors there just in case I wanted, you know, build a one-by-one one hut on the top of it, I guess, to sit on or something. But, anyway. What's so special about these tower, you say? Well, I'm really glad you guys asked, because I'm going to show you. Because way back in the place that we started, it's not really that far from here, but a little further than one might want to keep walking if that becomes necessary. Oh, what did I need for a respawn? Thingy, thingy. Uh, I don't want that. What are you doing? There we are. Um, was it under smalls? No. Mediums? Yes. Okay, crystal stone. Oh, right. Precious stone. No idea where to get precious stone. Well, I haven't gotten any yet. Let's put it that way. So yeah, considerably harder now to get levels. There's, uh, oh, I don't know, like 15,000 points now to get to the next level, or 20,000, whatever. Oh, 12,700. So, this is what's special about it. It has a fast travel. Which means that uh, where we started, Rain Court, I can do that. And guess what? We're back in Raincourt where we started. Now, you may not think that's a terribly practical thing, but it, it in fact is. Because the only quest I have to this point is called Hares Defeated Into the Wilds Forests. And where I live, ain't no bunnies, honey. No, I've been there for days building houses, slaying bears, having little birds attack my head, you name it. How many bunnies have I seen? None. But when I was over in this area, there were lots of bunnies, man. Well, not lots. That's one of the issues and why this particular quest isn't done, even though I got it when I was a level, like, three. Um, that's right, you can actually cross here. Okay, this is not where I want to be at all, man. Because that's acid. <laughs> yeah, he's not good. Uh-oh. Okay. That's it, though. That's as high as I'm going to be able to climb this thing. Yep. Oh, man. 
Come on, get out of the water, dude. Get out of the water. That's one thing that really needs to be changed in this game. That horrifying noise, that was my uh, Xbox 360 controller. There's no way to stop the rumble on your... Well, I'm pretty much screwed now. Falling down that hill has... yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Gonna move that thing and set it on the chair beside me so it doesn't make that kind of noise. Come on. Come on, get up. Oh, get up there. No, really? Well, guess what, guys? I'm about to die. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get up on the ground. Good lord. Oh. Yeah, the... Your only option is to actually disconnect your controller every time you want to play the game, I guess. And I really hate that. It is such a... You know, there's a couple of games like that where basically if you don't unplug your controller, you're forced to use it. And, I mean, this isn't even a console port. And there's no option to turn vibration off either. So, yeah, a couple of things that hopefully will be addressed before its release in October. I didn't actually even come here for these. Um, I think I'm in a house. I have a little stake to boost myself up here. Man, that sure didn't give me much, did it? There's one. Uh, I didn't really want to be out here after dark, either. <laughs> but it is always good to collect these when you can. That's just brutal, man. Just brutal. Yeah. There's one of my own. That's the very first original fire pit we placed down. I hope this isn't super, super dark for you guys. Unfortunately, the nights take quite a while. I thought that rock was a bear with the plant in front of it from a distance. It looked animal shaped. <laughs> and although I can take a bear out, it's, uh, see, there's one there actually. I am still rather damaged. I'm a little shy on these crystals. I've been using quite a few of them. They are used in a lot of recipes. I guess because they're basically the magic imbued thing that there is here. We still got that in the way. This is kind of a terrible time for bunny hunting. What do we got over there? Ah, an enemy camp. <laughs> I uh, ran across one of these uh, not so long ago. And it's another one of those deals where, you know what, I'd really rather be at full health. Because, wow. Did they ever wreck me fast? About seven of them come boiling out of there. They were blood orcs. 
Yeah, it was my blood these orcs were after, let me tell you. I think I got to fire off a couple of shots. And then I was pretty much history. Hmm. Mind you, that was uh, way over past my area. So, this looks like a much smaller camp. And what's an RPG without some combat? So let's see how we... Ooh. Alright, I see at least two guys. Alright. Let's, uh... Yeah. Woof down another s salami sausage thing here. I think they're actually, uh, boar meat or something. That I'm eating. Let's see if I've got anything really, uh, coolio in here. What bonuses does this give? Uh, plus 15 health, plus 10 mana. Consuming will add... I'm not sure what a paleo of. Plus 1 health regen. Well, that's kind of helpful. What else have we got? Crowberry cream. Ooh. Alright. Only for 60 seconds. Oh, I actually wanted to use it. Okay. That wasn't so bad. These guys were nothing like the other ones I took on. Diluted health vials. <laughs> really? You guys are watering down your health vials? Shame on you. Oh, you got a whole packet of stuff. Sure. We'll have everything, thanks, fella. And anything hidden around your camp? You only like... <coughs> excuse me. Rabbits hiding in your tent? <laughs> Oh, look. I didn't think there would be, to be honest with you. But check this out. An iron ingot, some milk, some bread, some leather. Ooh, ooh, some regular vials, and some salt. Excellent. That's incredible. Okay, that's more like what I was expecting, and that's not a usable fire. Can I, like, wreck this or something so they don't own it anymore? No? All right, well, cool, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, oh, these look like regular rock rocks. Yeah, just stone, 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 so. Hmm. Yeah, this does pretty good damage at 109 on a regular hit, that's not too bad. But no, the first ca the other camp that I ran into, they had 2,000 health something apiece. So yeah, that made for a little bit of... Uh, hard times. Man, I needs to find me some rabbits. I do, I do, I do. Here, little bunny, 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 bunny. Uh, 
I wonder if they're maybe just around the area where the quest was given. West Shore. Okay. Let's have a look at El Mapo. Yeah, I think it was somewhere up in here, actually. Ooh, I know. Let's go down there. I haven't checked out any caves. Now, hopefully it isn't some deep, dark thing where you have to have a... the spell of abysmal light or something to walk around. I don't know. We shall see. Exploring is actually quite fun in this game. You can be, uh... La 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 and in the forest picking flowers and stuff as you're apt to do in this game. And, uh... All of a sudden a bird can come in and attack your head. <laughs> Man, that freaked me out the first time. Well, and the second time. Not quite as much the third time. Um, yeah, because you, you don't see them, right? They just quietly fly over you, and then when they see you, they drop straight down on top of you and peck you in the head. Now, granted, it didn't hurt that much, but sure freaks you out. Sure freaks you out indeed. And there doesn't seem to be any... Oh, look. A level 8 skelly, eh? Yeah, this is nothing but inaccurate, if not inaccurate. Well, there he is. And just a bag of bones, but we do get experience for it. Alright. I find this arcane missile spell to be pretty good for early game stuff. I wouldn't mind running across a, a pixie or two in our travel here. Wow, look at that. Oop, there's a bar. Handy for their food. And down he goes. And he didn't give us any. Whoa. Why was that wild boar running from us? Or, what was he running from, maybe is what I need to say. Interesting. Very interesting. There's the cave. Now we are, of course, Gonna first take these. I've never seen a cluster this big of them. <coughs> Was that something shooting at me? The heck is that? Oh, it is too, eh? Did I get him? 
No. There we go. See what I mean about them birds? There is no notice at all. Now, unfortunately, I think he fell into the pool of acid. So we're not likely going to get to uh, get whatever he had. Oof, that moonlight is strong. You can see we're doing really well with the uh, killing the bunny quest. And the guy gave me that quest, I thought, ah, nothing to it. I did run across one bunny just after he gave it to me. And as soon as I got basically within range of it, the thing started running in circles. And we're not talking slow circles. We're talking maybe when I was 18 and shooting a gun every day and could pretty much hit things from memory, muscle memory alone. Yeah, I might have hit that rabbit. Otherwise, you're basically just letting off a continuous, you know, spray and pray and <laughs> hope that it's enough. Because you only need to hit them once. You know, they don't have much hit points. But, yeah. Okay. What is that? Well, that's certainly not uh, a rabbit. No, it's a boar. It's only a level two. Oh. Yeah. Still. Again. Ooh, yeah. Look at this guy. A light essence. Nice. Worthy, worthy boar. Worthy, worthy indeed. The shadow cape. Oh, there's uh, a dire wolf. Oh, and a bear. Good job of hiding, Mr. Bear. That other wolf decided to take the, uh... Might as well. Well, I wasn't expecting there to be animals in the cave, to be honest with you. Man, we've made level 21. Excellent. Kind of unfair, he's trapped. There we go. Good stuff. I can only assume... No, these rocks are nothing. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Enchanted stone. Hey, that's what we were looking for. That's exact... Oh, and some iron, some precious stone. Very nice. Okay. Here, I was thinking these caves, they ain't all that. But there you are. They are all that. A little bit of gold thrown in there. And some more precious stone. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I think it's just because the pig... Oh my god, they've respawned. Help. You don't have all day to do this. Apparently. <laughs> wow. 
But I'm getting a good supply of meat. See if we can suck up a little more of this before they decide to come back. This is sort of where an AOE spell wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be out of place, you know. Come on, hurry up. Adds a little bit of a sense of urgency. Let me tell you, knowing those things could come flocking back in here by the the herd. All right. Good to know what handy dandy places those are. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> see we're uh, kind of reaching the edge of our episode here and uh, yeah the whole uh, bunny hunting thing didn't exactly go as planned because what do I not see well what what where are you weird stuff man All right, I'm going to uh, more or less head back here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please do feel free to uh, hit that like button. Oh, uh oh Whoa. I'm stuck on something. Yes, indeed. Man. These guys just... What, what, what? Oh, and a pig too, eh? Whew. Pretty uh, tense little bit of wilderness out here, I must say. Alright. So, till next time, guys. Take care of each other. And ciao for now.